Do you need assets in your scene quickly in Blender? Whether you're a pro or a beginner, taking an image like this and turning it into a mesh 3D object that's already unwrapped comes in triangulated and an add-on to do all the heavy lifting for you. All you have to do is enter in a couple of prompts, choose settings and click generate and you've got a model in your scene. Stick around, I'm gonna show you guys how easy this is to do. Generating 3D models in Blender has really just never been easier. You can come over to deepai.org, go ahead and type in a general prompt that's going to tell the AI what it is you want. You can find something you like, go ahead and save that image somewhere on your hard drive and just realize the more you click generate, it's going to produce another model just like it if you don't change the prompt. Then jump over to Blender Market, type in SKD SAM or Image to Mesh Generator, and then you can look up the add-on and check it out. Of course, jump over into Blender and install the Image to Mesh AI Generator. Once you've done that, you can jump over to Add-ons, type in Image, and right here is where you're going to have a list of different things that this is capable of. Number one, you're going to want to read the preferences here. Just get familiar with the add-on. You can refresh models if you don't happen to have the correct setup here. You'll see this will be uh, blue and you'll have to install the pillow. But it is part of the add-on and generally speaking, most users will already have this on their PC. The next thing you want to do is get your API. Now just click right here and the PI API AI is going to take you over to this page. Don't worry if it looks a little confusing. Just come over here to the sidebar, come down to 3D models and go ahead and click on Trellis. Click on Trellis. Then you're going to go ahead and say, hey, I want to log in or sign up. Now you can get a free API and get a small number of image to mesh generations per month. You'll get your API key, then you can copy it. If you do happen to want to pay for it, it is affiliated with this website and not us, the add-on creators on Blender Market. And it's very important to note that for around $5, you can get about 140 models created. It's just a fraction of pennies per model, and it's extremely easy to do. Now, once back in Blender, you have your API. Just come over here and copy paste that in and hit enter. Now, let's go ahead and choose a save folder. It's very important that you choose a folder for all of your models to drop into. Then go ahead and click accept. Now there are some settings here also in the edit preferences in the add-on area. And under this, you'll have a seed value. You'll have steps in different things like strength. These are straight off of the website, but you can now do this here and you'll get a small description of what's going to happen here. Now, a lot of this because it's AI generation is going to be random and you'll get varying results no matter what you choose. You should get the same or close to the same object depending on the seed value. If you change that, you'll get a different one. Then you're looking at speed and the quality of the images. Just read through this. You could leave it exactly the way it is. Now we'll go down to the end panel and we'll go ahead and open up the image to mesh. And now we're ready with the API installed to go ahead and select an image. I've already downloaded a few. So we're going to go ahead into the downloads. And I'm going to select the display mode for thumbnails here. And now I can pull any one of these out. Looks like this was the last one I did. I'll go ahead and load it. And you'll see it now appears in the end panel. You'll see running as false and information will be displayed here once you click generate model. This could take up to three minutes, but it's going to be the way to produce a model in your scene just a little bit quicker for a detail level that's a little lower obviously than something you handmade or high poly or 3D textures that are possibly parallax or PBR. So something like that is definitely going to outclass whatever model this can make. I'll go ahead and click generate. Now this button will go blue for a second and then it'll go back to standard gray and it's going to free up the viewport. So this is important to note. This add-on is not going to freeze up your viewport. You're going to have the Python commands running in the background. Now that our object has appended in, 
I'm going to bring them over here, scale them up, and we can take a look at this in EV Engine. And we can see this cut off right here, exactly where the image was cut off anyways. Let's check out the UV maps, jump into face. You see I can hold L over these islands, and you can see the UV islands are packed pretty nice, very decent. Now, another thing to note is that you can come in here and... You can look at a video of this. It's built into the add-on and the website produces it. Let's go ahead and click to watch the video. And this is neat because now you can get a 360 look at everything. Also down here in the bottom right corner, you can download that too if you wish. And there's another thing here. You can look at this with no background on it. I think this is also pretty neat. You can save that. Just right click and save image as. Now let's have a little bit of fun and I've got three separate models pulled in. This one can say be the general if you will. And then we've got some troops here. So now you could have these guys in the back of the scene. Maybe just go ahead and highlight all of these. Shift D or you could do um, Alt D and just make instances. You don't really have to have new copies. And now we've got all these guys in inventory ready to go out and follow orders. So this is a quick way to get some very good detail in your scene without taking up a ton of time or resources. And like I said, you're not paying us for the models. You're definitely picking the add-on up from Sam and I, but that's a one-time shot. And then for a very small fee from the website, you're able to produce, like I said, about 140 models for five bucks. You can't do that anywhere else. That is extremely inexpensive and affordable. So guys, want to check this out, um, go over to the website that I listed before on SKD's Blender Market page. And I will put links in the comments. I'll put links in the description so you guys can go pick that up. Appreciate you watching. See you all in the next one.